Hey, it's Annie. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Osmosis Foundation. I found out about this foundation from Brianna Stankel. It's she has a uh, her business besides her her YouTube channel is Premier Look uh, Premier Beauty. Wait, is it Premier Look? I'm looking at the thing that says on it says Premier Look. So I guess this Premier Look is the name of the company. The reason that I decided to try this foundation is because she, hold on, I'm having a hot flash. Whoo, mama having a hot flash. I gotta take off my sweater. Okay, whoo, let's take that again. <laughs> so um, I decided to try because she's the one that mentioned about the uh, Dior foundation that uh, had a lot of bad alcohols in it. I mean, some alcohols are okay for your skin, some you have to stay away from and so the foundation if i remember i will link that above as i talk all about that foundation why i returned it okay because in the end it just dries your skin out really bad so i decided i don't want to use that um so she had mentioned this foundation on her site and she did a review on it so i was really really curious to try it so when I first tried it, and I'm gonna, the reason I have my makeup on is I want you to see it go on my skin and I'm gonna do a close above it, okay? So when I first put on my face, I did not use a primer. I just put it on my face. Um, I, I don't use a primer with my ordinary serum foundation that I shared and I hated this foundation. I, I hated it. It just looked terrible. It didn't wear well. It was horrible. I'm like, how could she rave about something that's so horrible, you know? Um, but I'm like, I want to give it a chance. I want to give it a chance. So I'm going to try it again because that's what I do. You know, sometimes you try something, it doesn't work out. You want to see, you know what I mean? Like, what's wrong? Is it, is it really that bad? I'm not good. This isn't going to be a full tutorial. I just wanted you to see me apply the foundation, how it goes on. Okay. And while I'm talking to you, I'm just gonna finish getting my face ready. I'm gonna put my um, my sunscreen on. This is Australian Gold. So now I'm gonna go ahead and get my primer. The primer that I'm using right now is from Clinique. And this is the Super Primer Universal Face Primer. Well, this is something I started doing that made a big difference with this. So after I cleanse my face and I put my sunscreen on and then I put my primer on, then I powder my face, okay? So I'm just gonna go in with my La Mer powder. I'm just gonna put all over my face. I just I'm just finding that it's keeping it's it's like keeping my foundation on better and my foundation looks better. That's what it's doing. So now I'm gonna go in with this foundation, okay? So I like that it has a pump. What I don't like about this is it does not have a very big range in tones it doesn't so that's the disappointment about this um i usually go towards the lightest color or the second to the lightest color because i'm pretty white this has a little bit of yellow in it though but it seems to work with my skin i'm not noticing it that it oxidizes and i apply it with a beauty blender so this is what i do i just pump a little out and get on my finger and then i just Dab it on my face and we'll get more. I just dab it all over. I'm not pumping out a lot. I'm just pumping out a little bit. I really like the pump. And the other thing that I like is that this pump will come, you can unscrew the pump. So when it's getting to the end, you can scrape whatever's in there out. And I like that. I hate when it's like glued on and you like, it's like you're wasting so much. So that I like. I think it retailed for 40 $45? I can't remember. I will put a link below. So really? This doesn't seem to settle into my fine lines or my wrinkles. Um, it does look like my skin. And that's something that Brianna had said it looks like your skin. I will agree with her. It definitely does look like your skin. It doesn't look like I have caked on makeup or anything. And I really like that. You know what, before I even do my, my um, concealer, I just want you to see this close up actually, okay? 
I mean, it does look like my skin, right? Okay. So I, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to finish my makeup. I'll do a close up again so you can see it. Um, and if I if I have time, I will do a check in today too. But I really really like this foundation a lot. What I didn't like is I don't like their return policy at her store. I don't know if anybody else, you know, where I can find this, I'll have to see. But I don't think they like to, to take returns back. So you better make sure that you get the right match with your skin tone. That's the only thing I didn't like. And I was very hesitant about purchasing it. If I don't like a product, I want to be able to return it. And I know there was a question and I think it might have been on when she was reviewing this. I can't remember. Somebody asked if you can exchange it. She said, yes, you can, but you only get three returns in a a year or a calendar year or something like that and I was like and even when I was reading on the website it sounds like they really don't want they really don't like returns and I understand that I understand that but when you're ordering something online and you don't know if that's going to work out for you I like to be able to know that I have that insurance that I can return something I don't return everything I don't like um, there's things that I've the foundations that I've gotten that I thought I would love and I I didn't and I I have them and I wasted my money and I couldn't return them. But there are times that I want to be able to return stuff, especially if it's expensive. So just keep that in mind. Um, if you order this foundation, keep that in mind, at least on her site. I don't know if I can find another site or where, you know, if I can find this somewhere else, I will link it below. Okay. But I just know from her site, that's sort of how it is, is, you know, I don't think that they really like to do returns. So I'm not, I'm just telling you that's how it is, okay? I'm not making that up, that is how it is. So let me finish my makeup and I will be right back. Okay, so I have all my makeup done. I'm doing two videos here today. So I'll be doing a video on my eye look today, my fall eye look. Um, but I wanna get close up again so you can see the what my foundation looks on my face. I really do love this foundation. I do think it's worth the money. Let me get zoom in on my face one more time. So you can see what it looks like. But I think it's a really pretty foundation. I mean, it does look like my skin. It doesn't look cakey with my powder on. I really like it. It holds up beautifully all day long. Now, I don't know how it is in the humidity because we don't have humidity here right now. We're into fall. But I do feel like this foundation holds up really, really well on me. Um, it feels light on my skin, doesn't get greasy, doesn't sink into my line. So if you're looking for a really good foundation, I definitely, where's my bottle? I definitely would totally recommend this foundation. And, and if I can, I will try to do a, if I remember, I will try to do a quick check-in later and just insert this in the video, okay? Um, so you can see what it looks like a couple hours from now, because right now, I don't have my phone in front of me. I don't have my phone in front of me, so I can't say, look what time it is, but it is 10, 10 right now. I'll show you my clock. <laughs> you never got to look at, see, it's 10, 10. All right. And I will show you later. So I changed my shirt because I'm going to do some other videos today, but <laughs> here's my, there's my check-in. So remember what time it was when I started? So, um, like almost three and a half hours later, something like that. Almost three and a half hours later or something like that. I can't remember exactly what time it was, but you know, cause I'll have it on video. So let me get really close so you can see. So you see from far away, I have a little bit of a shine to my face, but it's not greasy. You know what I mean? It's not like a greasy look like I like that. Cause I feel like it looks dewy. If it gets a little bit, too, you know, any more then I probably would um, blot it. But I think it looks really good on my skin. Let me get close so you can see. Hopefully this will focus in. Yeah, I think it's focusing in.
relaxing by my eyes. So I think that this makeup does wear really, really well, as you can see. Um, I really like it. I think it's a really, really nice foundation. I think it looks really nice on my skin. It's, like I said, it's a little bit shiny, but it's not, I actually like it because it gives me a little bit glow. And you can see where my sunglasses are, because that are, when I was wearing my sunglasses and my reading glasses, I was, it always gets worn down there. But other than that, I think it looks pretty good. And I really, really do like it a lot. At first, I hated it. I hated this foundation when I first tried it. But with this primer that I'm using, this is the Clinique. That's the one that I'm using with it. It works really, really well on my skin. And again, I have, I have combo oily dry skin. And please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Make sure you click that notification bell because anytime I have a new video, you will be notified. And make sure you follow me at Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. I will leave the links below. I will leave the link below for this and I will see if I can find it a couple different places so you can check it out. And that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye.